In Isaiah 51, Isaiah predicts that Judah, Israel, will be defeated by Babylon because of their sin and because of their disobedience. The wages of sin, the Bible says, is always death. That's the ultimate form of defeat. Disobedience, rebellion always lead to some form of death in our life. Broken relationships, some type of fear, isolation, uh, the list could go on and on. But in our chapter, we also have the promise of God's redemption, His restoration. I mean, listen to this amazing promise for Israel. But I also believe it's a promise for all those who know and love the Lord. This is what waits for us in the future. For the Lord will comfort Zion. He will comfort all her waste places. He will make her wilderness like Eden and her desert like the garden of the Lord. Joy and gladness will be found in it, thanksgiving and the voice of melody. In, in that time when God restores, it'll be like the garden of Eden. It'll be joy and singing. He also says, lift up your eyes to heavens and look on the earth beneath. For the heavens will vanish away like smoke. The earth will grow old like a garment. But my salvation will be forever and my righteousness will not be abolished. The Lord reminds us again and again in his word that where we are and what we have is temporal and brief. Someone once said it like this, one life will soon be passed. Only what's done for Christ will last. In verse six and seven, Isaiah reminds us of this reality. Listen to me, you who know righteousness, you people who, whose heart is my law. Do not fear the reproach of men, nor be afraid of their insults. In light of Isaiah chapter 51, let's be reminded today of God's great promises and the consequences of falling self or culture as opposed to experience what he has, well, for you and for I. As the Apostle Paul once said, in him we live and move and have our being.